G'day, Nathan from Aussie Acker here again, continuing the series on the AutoCAD architecture roof object. Uh, I have relaunched uh, the page on the blog that details some of the things about the roof object. I uh, really want to let you guys know the, all the secrets that uh, this uh, object holds. I've also got a special page which holds all the, uh, the YouTube videos embedded if you don't want to watch it on YouTube itself. Uh, you can just play them from this page, although I guess it does help to, uh, to make them larger and I think that'll take you back to YouTube. Now, on my page, I included a roof that, to be honest, I grabbed off a unit US uh, real estate site and I just was looking for a complex roof uh, to challenge the object and to see if you could do it. And I just thought, well, I've got it on the, on the blog advertising the, the roof object. I better see if I can actually create it. Uh, this probably not uh, as complex as some roofs as you can get. I'm sure you can get even more complex. Uh, but it certainly has some issues in there of, of how to solve this roof. So how do we go about it? Just before we look at that, there is a uh, competing product with uh, their roof. Uh, I think it's on YouTube called complex roof or difficult roof or something like that uh, and this is roughly the shape that he was uh, looking at and I just wanted to compare uh, control 3 brings up your, your palette and I just want to compare how easy it is to do with the roof tool uh, compare apply so this member is my created so I've copied this and I've made some of my own settings in there under properties and I'm going to apply that to line work and oops and we'll see what the roof object creates. Hmm, for some reason it missed this, but never fear, what we can do is simply grab this tool uh, and shake it around, push it around, and we pull these bits out here. Uh, we've got pretty well our shape, but we've got a few extra points, and we can just click on these points and just shunt them, and that'll actually disappear, they'll actually uh, go away. We can tell that by opening the number of edges and having a look at the number of faces. All right. Uh, incidentally, if I had of just extended this, which is a polyline, and done the same thing, it would have actually created the whole roof. Now, how many seconds did that take to create that roof? Just brilliant. Just brilliant, in my opinion. This is such a valuable tool to have for architectural work, especially more specifically residential work. Okay, now let's go back to the example that we've seen on my blog, the sample roof that I used. Now I'm not going to go right through all the techniques I've already demonstrated on the videos, but I just want to mention some things about this roof. If we have a look, we can see that we've pretty well created that roof uh, with the AutoCAD architecture roof object, not slabs, just the roof object itself. But you do need a few tricks to know. Remembering that uh, we've got some overhang here and we thought the roof object couldn't overhang itself but by simply when we trace our line or recreating it afterwards using the trim trick we can actually create a little loop back around this here and we can get our overhang, it can overhang itself. Now I would make those as small as possible so you wouldn't see but I've left them large for the, uh, for the blog, for the, the articles. Um, <coughs> This roof here doesn't have an edge. There's no edge existing in here to give that its pitch. That is a problem for the roof object. And what I've done here, you could create these as separate roofs, of course, uh, using the um, mass group trick that I've shown you. But what I've done is I've just simply created a very small edge to hold the pitch, and that holds that slope, and that would disappear when it's trimmed quickly. Now, I should create a, another edge, another echoing edge at the same angle and that would actually bring these eaves together but incidentally just to show you and this is the first time i've ever come across this i cannot edit this roof object anymore i cannot create any more edges i don't know whether i've created a uh, the maximum number of edges or maximum of edits i, I don't know uh, these objects obviously they sit in so i've created them with completely separate objects there's no need to try and create them with the same roof although that does uh, it is possible to do that no not not like that not with our uh, pictures on the inside uh, what I've done with this then you'll notice is that I've traced this and I did this using the trim tool trick and editing and I dragged it and funnily enough I've actually dragged it and surprised even me I've 
past, dragged it past this point. And the reason, well, it creates this extra pitch that I didn't want. And so I dragged it up to try and minimize it. And I didn't know, but I can actually drag it past so that that groove will disappear. Um, so if I just drag this back while we're looking at that, you can see some extra edges start appearing. And I didn't want those edges, and it starts to affect it. But if I go right back and drag it past, it'll get rid of any of those extra edges. All right, and, and to be honest, uh, that needs to be just dragged down a little bit, I think, to get those. Yeah, you obviously want that valley to meet valley. And so there would be an adjustment there to get that at the right spot where those two roofs meet. Uh, loop back, loop back again so I can get an overhang. Uh, there is another loop back here so I can get an overhang. So the roof object can uh, overhang itself. Again, I'd make those loop backs very small. Now, we better move on. Um, this one here is where I failed, and I cannot resolve this at this point. I won't say never because I've been wrong so many times. But I cannot add, if I add an overhang to this edge, because it does that in the photo, uh, it messes the roof object. It can no longer handle the extra trickery. So how do I do that? Well, I'm just going to copy this across to here have one to play with but you'll see what I've done is I've created a separate roof but never fear I would create it like this to start with and then because what we can do is we can go in and trace this roof and I do actually have this roof at the wrong height to, to have the eaves but I'll show you that in a sec so we get this we drag it back to get rid of the pitch in here and we now have our separate object. We can come into the set type separate object. Sorry if I'm being fast, but have a look at the other videos and it will give you all the secrets to what I'm doing here. Give the eaves uh, a pitch. I need to make this roof a plum, which is the way we do them here. But you can do the other one as well. And then I've got my roof tool. Now to get rid of this roof, I'll show you what to do. I want to actually have this back pitch. So now, on this roof, when I continue the eaves, this, this flashes in, and that's not what it does on the photo. So I have actually done a little bit of uh, trickery here, and I've lifted this roof, but I won't do it here, just for the sake of the exercise. Uh, but I'm going to show you what I'm doing. So I'm dragging this roof back to that point. Now that captured that uh, back point there I should show you that I need to as soon as I shift this it's, I'm going to lose this point so the first one I do is just drag it back to that point there which indicates where these two my newly created roof and this old one is going to meet now I just stretch stretch point I can't just grab the point all right I can't grab that point it's not going to move it's not going to move on me uh, as my young workmate showed me this trick using the stretch command it becomes very reliable oh some things have happened here oops we haven't been watching some things have happened here that's not how I, my roof is supposed to go we go in and change these pictures sorry i'm very fast here you probably can't understand my accent hopefully you can follow it i can then come in and take my newly created roof with overhang and I've got the wrong pitch set there. It should be 27 to match the other pitch. With overhang to overhang. Now, as I said, there's this clash and that roof needed to be lifted up in the first place back here. But that's it. Uh, what I have is my roof object. I can. I can truly create. That gives my gits in the way sometimes, doesn't it? Uh, I can truly create this object with the roof object, this roof with the roof object. There's a little bit of trimming around here to do. Uh, go back and have a look at how we did that with mass groups. Uh, I get my overhang here in which the roof object will as far as I know, but I've been proved so many times wrong. I can get that overhang and I use the roof object itself to work out the heights that that was pitched at. There you go, the roof object can do a lot more than you ever thought it could do uh, without reverting to slabs.